Weather satellites are tracking water reserves in the drought-stricken West, and researchers at NASA and the University of California, Irvine, say they are finding it, what they're finding is shocking. As Terry Okita reports, not only are reservoirs running low, but underground resources are depleting at an alarming rate. One look at the white ring where water levels used to rise at Lake Mead Reservoir, it's clear the Colorado River Basin is drying up. But NASA scientist Jay Famlietti says what you don't see underground is even more unnerving. During these periods of drought, we really hit that groundwater supply really hard. It gets significantly depleted. The Colorado River Basin is considered a lifeline to seven western states, providing water to 40 million people and 4 million acres of farmland. Researchers say it's lost almost 13 trillion gallons of underground water in less than a decade. Is there a chance that we could see this underground water completely depleted? Will it come Absolutely. back? Absolutely. It took thousands, millions of years to, uh, to fill up those aquifers in the first place, and we are depleting them in, in, in decades. Across drought-stricken California, water shortages are taking their toll. Fresno resident Carlin Overby's well ran dry a month ago. When you get up in the morning and you turn that faucet on, you always wonder if water is going to come out. Water rationing has forced desperate residents to lay artificial turf or paint their dry brown lawns green. It's become a booming business for Carrie McCoy. As soon as the water sanctions hit and as soon as people find their water bills rising and rising, they're looking for ways to cut back on their expenses, and that's when they start uh, calling. Without significant rainfall and rationing, researchers say the demand for water will soon outpace the supply that sits both above and below ground. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Terry Okita, Los Angeles.